Hey, what's up guys? Gene Hank is here, here to help you out with Bitcoins and creating a wallet. Now, uh, one of the most famous ones out there that I know I use personally when it comes to purchasing uh, Bitcoins is uh, Coinbase. Coinbase is uh, it's really good. It's been out there for a while since uh, Bitcoin has been out there. So for you guys to own any Bitcoins, there's a few options, right? You can either purchase it from uh, somebody that has Bitcoins and you give them money, whether you pay them via PayPal, uh, a cash app, or actually give them cash. Or you can go to third parties uh, websites like these, Coinbase.com. Um, I forgot the name of the others. But you can Google buying Bitcoins and uh, I'll probably post some on the group so you guys can find out other ways to purchase Bitcoins. But this is the one that I use, and I want to show you guys how to create one and how to fund it. So it's easy and simple. Um, it's very, very self-explanatory. I don't even know why I'm doing this, but some people need the extra help, so why not help, right? So I'm going to make one for my wife. She doesn't have a Bitcoin wallet. And... Password. Let me show you now. Says to me. Oh, no. Okay, it is. All right. And select your state. Well, we're gonna be going back to New York real soon, so might as well put that she's in here. And I certify that she's 18 and older. Boom! Create account. It is that easy. And now I just gotta gotta verify. So, let me go to Gmail. Okay, so as you can see, verify your email address, verify. Okay, so it's going to ask for your information because it needs to verify your identity. Which is one of the things that I recommend you guys do. Do your best to verify your identity because uh, the better it is when it comes to uh, verifying your identity, the more they can allow you to purchase of Bitcoins, right? Um, What is the last for your social? Uh, let me pause this real quick, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna blur out her last for social. Then, what do you use uh, Coinbase for? You guys can just put that. I recommend just put that. Make it simple. What is your source? Investment, inheritance, mining. We're going to do investments. <clears throat> Current occupation. And here I can just should be a business owner. Now, um, like I said, this very self-explanatory, guys. You fill this out to your best of your abilities, and you put whatever um, job you have right here. Press next. Oh, forgot the date of birth. December thirteen. Okay, next. Okay, we've been verified. Continue. Phone number. And 
and she's got to verify. Give me one second. All right, so that's the right one. This right here, guys, that's how you fund it. Debit. Bank account. Now with this, um, I recommend adding both. Because when you add both, it gives you the, the limit to be able to purchase more than just like 50 Bitcoins per day or per month, I think. So you would do your debit card instantly. But when I'm going to do that, because I already have a Bitcoin wallet, so my wife doesn't really need one. All right, so this is the Coinbase back office once you're already logged in. And now you can buy and sell. Of course, for you to buy, you need to add payment method. And you guys can add your bank, like I showed you before. Bank or, let's, uh, or PayPal or debit card. I recommend uh, doing either all three or these two because it'll give you a higher limit for you to purchase Bitcoin. Okay. Now, when it comes to sending Bitcoins, you just press send, you put the Bitcoin address here and the amount and you press send. And then when you want to receive Bitcoins, like if, let's say if I'm going to send you a Bitcoin, I'm going to need your Bitcoin wallet. So you would click receive and you will copy and paste this and send it to me or to whoever wants to send you Bitcoin. Or you could send them a picture of this uh, QR code. Okay. Well, I hope this uh, helped you guys out how to create a Bitcoin wallet and how to fund your wallet, which is pretty simple. Okay. Hi, right, guys. Thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Peace.